Good evening. I'm Liz Asperger. I'm the village president in LaGrange, and I am delighted to see each and every one of you tonight. Thank you so much for coming out. The accident that occurred in our community on 47th Street and 8th of about two weeks ago has shaken all of us. The tragic death of a young mother is something that we all feel in our core. We grieve with and for the entire Cook family. And our hearts and our prayers are with each and every one of you. I'm buoyed, though, by the fact that we come together tonight as a community, a community of individuals that shares our grief, our concerns, and our attempts to make this community the very best that it can be. To that end, we convene a meeting tonight so that we can talk about what happened. We can share with you some information about what the village has done, is planning to do, is hoping to do with respect to the 47th Street Corridor. And also, and most importantly, to hear your thoughts, your concerns, and your ideas. 47th Street is an unmarked state route, which means that it is under the jurisdiction of the state of Illinois. LaGrange has an agreement with the state to maintain the road, but the state retains all control decision-making with respect to traffic control, which includes speed, signage, curb cuts, truck usage, and the like, and also control with respect to design of the roadway. As a result, we have to work together with our state in order to affect a positive improvement to 47th Street. To that end, I've invited each of our state legislators to join us at the meeting this evening so that they can hear your concerns firsthand. And I'm absolutely delighted to have uh, some of our representatives here tonight. State Representative Michael Zaleski is sitting here in the front row. Mr. Zaleski, if you'd stand for everyone. How are you doing? I also know that State Representative um, Jim Durkin is intending to be here. He may be on his way and he will join us this evening. We have also invited Congressman, here's Jim Durkin, on cue. Jim, thanks for being here this evening. Come on up so that you can uh, participate with us. We also invited Congressman Dan Lipinski to join us tonight. Dan sits on the Federal Transportation Committee, and he has been diligent and dedicated in serving this district, in fact, uh, helping to bring us some relief and improvement through the CREATE project to the intersection of 47th and East Avenue and the Illinois uh, Harbor Belt tracks. Unfortunately, Congressman Lipinski is in Washington and could not be here this evening, but he has in fact sent two representatives. Uh, Mr. Joe Bonomi and Nathaniel Zimmer are here this evening. And gentlemen, if you would stand and be recognized, we appreciate your being with us as well. I would also like to introduce the members of our village board who are here this evening. I think we have a full contingent in the front row. Uh, Mr. Jim Palermo, Mr. Mike Corbath, Mr. Mark Langan, Mr. Tom Livingston is here somewhere. Tom? Standing in the back. Mr. Bill Holder is here. And Mark Kukler is going to be here right now. Just some um, thoughts about our agenda this evening. Uh, we do have a, a written agenda. Um, I hope you've seen it. It's really just to provide you with an opportunity to know what we hope to accomplish. There will be no final decisions made. This is an opportunity to seek your input. We don't have all the answers. We really welcome your ideas, your suggestions. Um, several people have contacted um, myself, Mr. Polipshin, 
uh, and others at the Village Hall to share their comments because they were concerned that they couldn't be here this evening. Those comments, I believe, have been um, noted on a flip chart and we will share those with you this evening as well. While our primary focus will be on the 47th Street Corridor, we did receive thoughts and ideas about other areas in the neighborhood. Those have been noted as well, and we will take those into consideration as we continue planning sessions with respect to traffic management, pedestrian safety throughout the village. We have a large crowd tonight. That's absolutely great. I'm delighted to have all of you. I have been advised by our Fire Chief, that I need to make sure that each of you knows where the respective exits are, two at the back and two in the front. We have reached chair capacity, if you will, um, and we have some folks standing, so if anybody has a chair in between them and would like to move toward the center, I feel like I'm in a movie theater, but there are some folks standing, and if, if uh, you want to raise a hand where there's a seat or move over one so that we can accommodate everybody, that would be just great. Finally, I'd like to circle back to the issue of community, a caring community. And that's what I see in front of me tonight. You know, each of us in LaGrange and probably elsewhere is prone to focus our attentions on our own neighborhood. Whether you define that as the two blocks around your own home or the quadrant of LaGrange that you live in, maybe it's the streets that your children walk on or ride their bike on. But that's not the way our village management and the dedicated employees, the men and women that work for this village, see our village. These individuals serve our village as a whole each and every day, and they do their every best effort, they use their every best effort to serve us well and to make this a safe, wonderful place to live. Public safety is and always has been a top village priority. It will continue to be a top village priority. And as we gather tonight to share our thoughts and concerns, I, I simply remind all of us that we do so knowing that each of us cares about the other and that our intention here is to make a positive impact on the community which we live in.